Hey guys, it's Com B, and today's video we are going to be doing another Rec Room Studio tutorial. This time I'm going to be teaching you how to use the terrain tool. I'm not going to show you everything, but I'll show you all the basics and enough to get you started. So we're going to go hop on over to Rec Room Studio and I'll explain how to use the different tools. All right, let's go. All right, so right now I am in an empty studio room. I'm going to right click, create 3D object, and go on down to terrain. That's going to bring this really big grid over without a texture. Um, if you're in the inspector tab, you now have these terrain tools over here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a texture. So let's go down to paint texture layers and we're going to want to add a layer so as you can see i already have some textures and materials set up if you don't have them you could download them but i'll just select a grass texture for now so if i zoom in you could kind of see that dirty grass texture that i imported and that's going to fill up all of the terrain because we have not yet added any other textures. All right, so now that we have our grass in there, we're going to add another layer. And let's pick another texture that I already have. We'll pick some rock texture. I'm not really sure why the thumbnail is not showing, but as you could see, I can paint in the rock texture if I have it selected. Uh, let's undo that. If you want to change your brush strength. So how strong is, is your brush? You could do so over here. You could also adjust the brush size as well as the rotation, which to be honest, I really don't use and brush spacing. Uh, what kind of brush do you want to use? Um, you'll notice when you first download Rec Room Studio or U Unity in general, you only have a few brushes. But you could go ahead and download some free brush masks from the Unity Asset Store or create your own. As you can see, I have several selected, um, but for now, we're just going to keep to the soft brush. And yeah, so that's how you paint your textures. If you want to increase the size of your terrain, you go go over to the settings gear over here and scroll down and you could adjust your terrain width and length. Uh, that's where you use the settings. We could also go over to our terrain and hit raise or lower terrain. Um, sometimes Rec Room Studio, I'm not quite sure it does it where it's a visual glitch, but just go ahead, click out, and click back in, and you should be able to click on some of your brushes for the raise or lower terrain. Uh, one thing to note before I get started is you cannot paint holes in Rec Room Studio. Right now, that is not supported, and if you do, you will get an error if you try and upload it. So let's go create some mountains, and then we'll color them in and make it look all nice and pretty, or at least prettier than what I have now. So just go around the map, obviously. This isn't going to be the best, highest quality terrain, but I'm just trying to show you the basics of how to use the tools. All right, we got some mountains. If you do want to lower or negate any of the changes you make, just hold down the control key and you should be able to lower the terrain. And same goes with when I talk about some of the other brushes, such as the tree brush and the grass brush. Yeah, we could add some canyons in here, kind of change it up a little bit, add some texture of the ground. Might be a little too much texture, so we could back down on that. Uh, all right. So we got something going on. Maybe keep it a, li a little less textured. 
You could also adjust the jitter and that just means that the brush isn't going to be exactly the shape of what you're using. It's going to have some variation in it. Um, so that's kind of cool. All right, let's go back to paint texture and we'll go to our rock and I'll just click on this sort of fade brush and you could paint on the texture of the mountains. We'll clean this up in a bit. There we go. And if I want to then have that blend a little bit more with the grass, I could do so. There we go. Uh, just to note though, the more layers and textures that you use, the more, <laughs> the more, the more memory, I guess, it'll take up and lag it'll cause on some platforms. So just keep that in mind before you start adding a thousand different layers. Um, let's add one more layer and we'll do, let's pick, mm, yeah, we'll do so. We'll do some dirt, dirt color. Okay. There we go. And we'll just dirty it around. So I'm going to explain a few other settings that are very important in Rec Room Studio. So this actually brings up a good point because as you'll see, it is very shiny, this texture. If you click into any of the uh, layers that you're using, for instance, the grass, I go to select and I will have this folder that opens up of all of my textures that I downloaded. Uh, what I would recommend doing is making sure that all of your textures have no alpha source and I wouldn't use a size greater than like 1024. And if you're really, if you really have a lot of detail in your room, you probably want to do like a low quality compression. And what this is going to do is reduce that shiny texture glitch that you might see on some Quest or Android devices uh, when you upload. So just something to keep in mind, make sure that you update all of your textures and have those settings, specifically the alpha source, make sure that's set to none and the max size is set to 1024. So I added this one texture. I'm not a huge fan of it, so I could go change it. So let's change it to more of a grass soil. Okay, there we go. If I don't like the pattern of the material I selected, you could always go and adjust the tiling sizes and that will adjust some of the sizes of those textures. But again, this is just to show you how the terrain tool works, not to show you how to make some award winning terrain. All right, next up, let's go to our paint trees. If you want to add a tree because it starts with nothing, do add tree. You could do a search for your tree. Uh, we'll pick the tree oak, add it, and then you'll be able to adjust how big of a brush you want to paint your trees on, how dense you want them, and some other factors which you could probably figure out. Um, but yeah, you could paint on the trees. You could add another tree. All right, and we will pick the one of the pine trees, hit add, and as you see, you could paint the trees. Again, if you want to get rid of some of those trees, control and click. All right, next up, it's very similar, but if you go to paint details, you could add grass. 
So let's go add some grass that I have downloaded and we'll hit add. Now if I go and click, obviously that's a little too much grass. Okay, let, let's uh, don't want to go crazy here. Uh, we'll All right, that looks a little bit better. So yeah, you could add grass, you could add flowers. Um, I'm going to go open up Studio and I will show you the effect that the grass has when you look at it because it will shift with the wind as well as these trees that we added to our terrain. So let's go over to Recom Studio and hit play. Right here we are in our lovely terrain. We have the grass. Let's fly on over. Let me get rid of the... Uh, there we go. Fly on over slowly. I may have made this a little bit too big for now. But that's alright. Okay, so here we are. We are in our terrain. You'll notice that the trees have that wind factor. And if we could find our grass... Yep, there you go. There it has the same wind factor applied. So again, I made this in like five minutes, but as you can see, it's pretty easy to create terrain in Rec Room Studio. Again, I hope this tutorial helped you out, especially if you are a beginner and new to Unity in general. If you have any questions, feel free to push them below and if you like this video and you want to see more, please hit like and subscribe, and I will continue to do more Rec Room Studio tutorials. So that's all I have for today. I'll see you guys later. See ya.